Yo, what's up, what's up? It's time, you feel me? Let's go for it. Let's go, we're live, we're live. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Y'all already know. What's up? Let me type this in. We're live right now. Oh, let me type. Oh, what's going on, people? To hey, man, I appreciate y'all tapping in. Live with attorney Josh Jones. Let's go. Let's go. It's good to see everybody. Rain sauce. I see y'all in this thing. What's up, boy? So good to see everybody, man. What's going on? What's going on? Jump on in, jump on in, and make sure you hit that airplane because it's going down. It's so good to see everybody, first and foremost. Man, it's just a pleasure. Man, I'm so excited about tonight because guess what? We're talking to someone else who's going to be with us at the conference. I mean, are y'all ready? <laughs> this is what you should do. Hey, right now, I'm going to give you like 30 seconds. Hit that airplane, share this live with everybody. You know why? Because everybody needs a good one of these. Jesus, if you don't have one of these that's on point. King of Queens, I see you. King of Three Queens, I see you. Shot Fem in the building. You know, if you don't have somebody like this in, uh, on your side and your team counseling you, bringing you up to snuff, man, I'm telling you, you up the creek without a paddle. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you, man. So it's going to be a fantastic night. I just want to introduce you. You know what I'm saying? This gentleman really needs no introduction because he's very, very much a part of my life, a part of the community. You've probably seen him before on my feed, on my timeline or something like that. But uh, you know how we all have friends and sometimes our friends be like, not good. You know, they're not the friends you want to take around. But they're your friend, but I mean, you can't take them nowhere. Like, this is the exact opposite. This is the friend I would take absolutely everywhere. Um, not only is he a fantastic father, a fantastic husband, and a great, a great, great, great man in general, um, but he's one heck of an attorney. And his heart to serve people, his heart to ensure the safety and security uh, of the wealth, health, and well-being of people's generations, like that is where his niche is. He serves so many people in our community already. And uh, I just can't wait to bring my friend, attorney Josh Jones on the live. Josh, it, it, come on here, let me see if I can get him on here. I want everybody already start right now, start dropping them hearts, you dig what I'm saying? Start sure. dropping all the muscle ups, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, this is attorney Josh Jones, my dog, Josh Jones. Josh, what's going on, man? How you feeling? What's good, Jay? I, I can't call it. I just got out of a rehearsal for a socially distanced um, production of um, the autobiography of Frederick Douglass, and uh, <laughs> I'm ready to get it get it popping, team. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, love man. It. Let's Thank do it. Good. How you doing today? Everything all right? You having a good day? Man, fantastic, man. Just another day above ground, able to help people make good decisions, counsel them out of bad decisions, and you know, just put the just put the little one to bed. So that's what it's all about. That's what we do it for. That's so, so I'm you know, I'm gonna rewind everything. You know, bring it back. Everybody, if you're just joining us, man, I see so many great bullies. I see muscle ups getting dropped. I see hearts. That's what we're talking about. I'm live with Attorney Josh Jones. You know, we're talking about the virtual conference, the Generational Wealth Conference, coming August 14th. It's virtual. It's going to be anywhere you are, as long as you have a connection to the data. You can make sure that you're in the place because what we're, what we're talking about is how to gain wealth, how to keep the wealth, and how to pass it to the next generation. And without somebody with the mindset of Josh Jones, it's not going to happen. Let's just back it up. Hey, Josh, where you from, man? Talk, talk to me. Where you from? Hey, man, when you said when you said muscles, I thought you was talking about me. I was <laughs> like, I appreciate you noticing. I've, I've been in the gym too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog, I see you. I see you, bro. You looking but, good. Oh, where's this shape? <laughs> yeah, but just to kind of just give a little background. Born in the born in the Yayo, Miami. Uh, spent spent a little time. Did a bid in Tallahassee. Um, not for college, like a lot of people, but for, for middle school and high school. And then. Uh, <laughs> I had to get up out of there because it wasn't for me. So I went to Atlanta, attended the finest HBCU on the planet, Clark Atlanta University. Okay. And uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So I was in Atlanta for some years during the during the glory years. I think I qualified for what they now call old Atlanta, which I guess is a cool term. And uh, 
I decided I want to go to New York. They said that's the city where if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. So I just I just kind of did like a little bit. I was thinking about it kind of like J. Cole. So I just packed my bags, literally got on a plane, went to St. John's University, same school he did. And uh, I asked the cab driver to drop me off to uh, St. John's and I had no idea where to go. He dropped me off on the wrong side of the campus. I had to walk with my suitcases. But, you know, I was going to, to chase my dream to be a lawyer. So I went to law school at St. John's. And then I came back to the crib. Yeah, so I'm back. Family's been here for over 100 years. So we're, we're also old Miami, I guess, too. So yeah, yeah. that's like kind of that, been oh around the world <laughs> and back again. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, so many people take their talents and they might go somewhere else. And there's nothing wrong with that. But being a son of the city, I can appreciate the fact that you gained so many experiences, gained so many skills and new talents. And what you decided to do was bring it back to your community, the community that made you, which is super dope, man. Muscle up for that. Hearts for that, because that's dope. I wanted to ask. Like, why law? I mean, I seen your jump shot is pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? I think you could have probably walked on with the Dolphins. You was, you know, you're pretty good. Why law, bro? Like, why? I did have the speed, but I didn't have I, – I couldn't catch that good, you know? So <laughs> – and, and I value my brains. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to be walking around here with CTE or anything like that. So I, I figured – and it's something I was reading, too, in a book. So, I mean – it's actually kind of an interesting book when you think about it. This is a book called The Jewish Phenomenon, where this guy's kind of just talking his shit about why Jews are so dope and why they excel so much. But one of the right. main things is like, you know, there's a few there's a few Jewish people who you know who play sports and excel at a high level. But in comparison to the overall population, even for African Americans, even though we dominate sports, there's so there's a lot of other arenas that we dominate, but it's not publicized as much. So I was like, you know, I can make the same money and same have the same impact by doing something that you know to me has a bigger bigger makes a bigger you know deal to the lives of other people so i figured right. um my mom is a lawyer my dad was an entrepreneur he had a landscape company so i was like if i combine the gifts of the two of my two most um greatest influences yeah. Then you know I can kind of do like Captain Planet said when you put all of, when you put all them powers together you get a Captain Planet right what? so I was like <laughs> heart. yeah it was all it was all kind of dope except for heart heart was kind of weak I'm not gonna lie but yeah <laughs> I mean it was, so crazy. it was so crazy though like <laughs> watching you so you go to law school you finish law school there's so many different types of things you can do but like you take a general focus now on understanding appreciating and helping people with their estates and with their wills with living wills and with making them understand that they're more than just somebody that has to wake up and go to work but like seeing themselves as an entity could you explain that a little bit because at the conference trying to make people understand themselves in terms of wealth, it kind of, it can be difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like most people, they aren't rolling in millions. You know, most people, right. they got, you know, a job, pay them pretty good. They go to work, they come home, they take care of their family. So they see themselves as quote unquote regular. But you have taught me that right. regular, it's really regular. To, to how have you helped clients in the past understanding that will and understanding that estate piece? So the biggest thing is that if you don't make the decision for yourself, somebody else is going to make it for you or for your family when that day comes. Cause it, because it's guaranteed for everybody. We all going to die. You know, I don't right. know. I don't want to sugarcoat it. You know, we're not going to pass away. We're not going to the other side of the, of the mountain. You, I mean, we might be doing all those things, but at the end of the day, you're going to die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you might not be comfortable with it. I'm not fully comfortable with it, but you know, you got to embrace the fact and it's better to, to, to embrace it think about it and make those decisions so your family members don't have to after you die or the poor judge doesn't have to decide if there's no one in your family who could decide because one, it's uncomfortable and they may do things that, you know, that they don't know what you want and they may do something that they may be afraid they're going to make a decision that's going to be against something that you wanted or two, it's going to cost more money. So just to, just to jump off of your statement about rich people, that's one of the greatest myths about planning for your you know your, your and it's not just planning for your death it's planning for your life too but that's one of the greatest myths that only wealthy people need to do that right uh, yeah that's one of the greatest myths because i love what you say people think that uh yolo is all about being kind of crazy like oh yolo i'm gonna do something crazy you only live once but truth is i need to get my estate in order yolo yeah yeah <laughs> but, but before you yolo, but, i need my will right yolo yeah 
before you jump out that airplane, make sure you got your life insurance policy and the beneficiary set up properly so that if anything happens, you can you can have control over what the, where that money is going to go, who's going to who's going to have it, what purposes they can use it for. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you have minor kids and you, and you had that baby mama that you hate and you die and you leave everything to your kid, guess who's going to have control of that money? To, to, oh, to, baby mama. Yeah, that same that same baby mama or baby daddy that you hate is going to have is going to have all your bread and they're going to be able to do whatever they want with it. You know, <laughs> if you if you get if you get remarried to somebody and it's somebody who you who you care about way more than that, that no good baby mama, or baby daddy, but you die before them, even if you set your stuff up almost right, there is a possibility that you can disinherit your other kids because they're under no obligation to take care of those kids if they were if, uh -huh. if they if you die first. So, wow. you know. One of the biggest things, especially in the black community, is making sure that you at least take the time to speak to somebody who is trained to give you the knowledge, and then you can make the decision. But but so many people go to either the internet or they go to people who um, or, or to know. I'm just gonna put it out there, dog. They go to Google and yeah. then they do something and then they don't do it. Right now, by a show of hands, and you know, if you know, like if you're in the chat right now and you know somebody and y'all have had a discussion in the last month about a will or estate planning, put a why in the, in the chat right now, like, oh, we did it. Like, but friends aren't talking about this. And I believe that one of the tragedies of our generation is thinking that when we get together, we can't have these kinds of conversations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think not only are they necessary, but they're paramount if we talk about moving ourselves and moving our family and moving our name, our inheritance forward. So big yeah. dog, at the conference, you know, like, like what you gonna get into, you did? Like what, what you gonna be, you know, what you gonna be talking about? So there's gonna be a little something for everybody. We're gonna talk about the ABCs of, of estate planning and kind of breaking down some of the um, myths and, you know, some of the dangerous rumors that can kind of mess, mess you up, um, you know, putting stuff in other people's names, you know, so that you can avoid probate um Ooh. you know different stuff going to going to the person going to the tax lady who lives around the corner from your grandma so she could draft you a simple will because that's all you need we're going to talk about all of that so you know right. if, you, if you're attending a conference called the generational wealth conference without ever even knowing you or talking to you i can almost guarantee that you do not that your estate plan will not be complete with a simple will because the knowledge that you're going to gain from this conference and every other endeavor of your life is going to lead you to have such great accomplishments and achievements that that will not protect your family. I can tell you that right now. And, you know, we'll talk about some of the different mechanisms that you could use to protect your family. But, um, you know, that's just a little bit of it. And I don't want to say too much, but it's going to be popping. And, and, and we may even we may even give away a free estate plan. I don't know. We might do that. We haven't yeah. decided yet. So, so you know. <laughs> that's, so that's, oh, that's pretty yeah. dope. And I just want to let everybody know, if you're on this live, first and foremost, I appreciate you because you're sharing time with us. The goal that we have as individuals, and Josh and I have talked about this on many, numerous occasions, many times, and that's for everybody that's on here. That's my, my man, Sean, and my man, Credit Maven, and Tizzle. I see one in the building. What up? T. Dixon off in here. Like, all my folks, Ash off in here. What up? Stay humble. T in here. Mr. Fitch, I see you. And, you know, all my folks that's in here, you know, like, the big thing about all of what we're doing is we want to do two things. That is grow and serve. Now, what's the use of growing if you don't have a way to serve the people around you? And I'm going to tell you, you, you can't serve everybody around you if you won't grow your own capacity and refill your own spirit and soul. So when it comes down to this generational wealth conference on August the 14th, this beautiful virtual conference, it's not about making sure that you just get pitched. It's about making sure you get tools insight and you get it from the people who are trained i love what he said the people who are trained to do it you know what i'm saying yeah. these are people who you know this is how they live this is what they do they're always doing this and let them help you take your family and your name to the next gen to the next level you know what i'm saying yeah. let them you no know? i heard a guy say something on on ig because i also uh, do you know i help people with wrongful death cases and sometimes you have to set up a stage for those and you know, car accidents yeah. and stuff like that. And I heard a guy, he was talking about, I had a consultation with somebody and they came back after the fact and told me 
that they settled their own case for 5K. He was like, that's cool. But if I would have did it, I could have got you 50K. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing. When I help you with, with, with your estate planning, everything's going to be right. Or any attorney who's, who does estate planning, helps you in estate plan, it's going to be right. So whatever you pay them, like, I know somebody, and, and I don't charge as much, but they charge 8K, 8 to 10K for certain estate plans, depending on the right. size of the estate. And he's like, you pay me 8 to 10K, and I'm going to save your family $100,000 in taxes minimum when you die. So is it, are you really paying 10K? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, if right. I could, if I can make if I can make 10k turn to 90k, net. I, every day that's an easy flip. That's an hey, easy flip. If somebody told you you could do that in the stock market, you'll do it. If somebody told you you could do that, you know, in a real estate deal, you'll do it. I mean, you'll that's a, that's, a, that's that's a no brainer. You wouldn't even think twice. You'll be yeah. Let me get this 10 for you. And yeah, I, exactly. Mindset shift is where we are right now. People like yourself and the others, uh, the mindset shift. That's where we are right now. Um, yeah, we can go trick off a lot of bread and, and we're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be cool. You know, you got to enjoy it. I mean, come on, y'all. We're going to make this money and we're going to spend this money. It's going to be fun. But yeah. after all the fun that we wish to have, we have to realize that there's so many people depending on us. Man, you are so many people depending on you. Yes, you right now, you that are watching this. Yes, people are depending on you. Some of them you have seen. Some of you, some of them you have never seen. Some of them you've met. Some of them you've never met. Some of you guys might be married. Some of you guys might have kids. Some of you guys might be grandparents. Others of you all, man, you could be 18 and just going to your freshman year in college. But let me tell you, life goes on and things change and life happens. And I'm telling you right now. You don't want to have the people who are depending on you look at you like, man, you could have done better. You should have done better by me. And I'm going to tell you, man, you won't have Josh Jones to blame. You won't have Jay the Trader to blame because guess what? We're giving you the information here and now. You're in the right place. Hey, big dog, I know we've held you for a little while because I heard that it's going to be a nice dessert at yeah. your house. Right? Well, well, I want to jump on that last point you just made. So oh, not even just... Not even just those people, but I always think about it like this. You're going to make money. You're going to have fun. You're going to be able to. The most important thing, though, is to protect that money so that people who you'll never know who are your descendants will be like, you know, my granddaddy or my grandmama, whoever, whatever your name is, fill in that blank. She, she really paved the way so that, you know, we didn't ever have to worry about, you know, what it's like to be hungry. You know, we don't we never had sugar water, eight man made sandwich. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's not something that we can even relate to. So, you know, I want to be that person, you know, you think about it with the big portrait in the house and you're the one that made the difference or, you know, you took that next step. A lot of us in this generation of, of you know, black millennials, a lot of us are not necessarily first generation college and didn't necessarily come from, you know, those situations. But whatever you whatever you you know, you, wherever you started, you always want to go a, a little higher. So when so if you if, if you ended up here, the next generation should start at least here. They shouldn't start back where you started, right? So that's right. what we want to make sure that when you make all that money, that you don't end up broke. And that's another reason why I didn't go become an athlete because so many of those guys don't know what to do with their money because they don't. <laughs> they have <laughs> exposed. And that's yeah. all. It's, you know, it's the difference between being ignorant and being dumb. Being dumb to mean you can't learn. Being ignorant means you haven't had the chance. And right now, this is your chance. You know, August the 14th, we're going to have a fantastic conference, and I want you to be there. Any last words, Josh, before we jump off? Man, I just want to say thank you for having me on here tonight. And I look forward to being at the conference. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, I may even try my stand-up. No, is that going to make people not come if I say I'm going to do my stand-up set? It's a new set. that have been done before. Uh, so y'all going to get a chance to really get the best of both worlds, the jokes and, and, and the legal. So let's do it. <laughs> Hey man, hey man, hey, 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 I just want to let y'all know. Josh goes into his jokes. Some of y'all gonna be in stitches, and the other of y'all gonna be like, "What?" Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, look here. Do me a favor, everybody. I know I'm on this live. I'm gonna talk maybe about another ten seconds. But look, click that Josh Jones Jada Trips. Click that at the top, and make sure you're following Josh Jones right now. Like, follow him right now. The idea that we're going to grab hold of and push as hard as we can into your face, into your life, into your heart, into your mind, and even into your future and your children's future is the fact that your life is not your own.
The job is to grow and the job is to serve. And right now, acquire the knowledge so that you can grow your knowledge, so that you can use that knowledge to help the people around you that you love, the people who you care about. You can show them love while you are alive by setting things up the right way. So that when you're not in a position to show them the love the way you're showing it right now, you can show them the love for the rest of your life. It was something so amazing I just learned. Uh, um, Benjamin Franklin, he, he left a gift to two cities. One was Philadelphia and one was Boston in his will. He said um, he's going to give them $1,000, but they can't have it for 100 years. They have to invest it. Mm. So by um, it was a hundred years after the cities could cash out on what he gave them. And he had given the cities millions of dollars. He had given them millions. And I just think about that, man, your church, your temple, your mosque, your uh, place of worship, your fraternal or sorority or uh, any organizations that you're a part of, your children, your family, your community, the park that you grew up at, you know what I'm saying? Or your college where you met your sweetheart, you know, like these are all things that you can do. It is not reserved for people who have certain status or certain money. It's reserved for you because your life matters. And Josh, on the 14th, he's going to show you exactly how much it does. Josh, thank you, bro. Thank you so much for tonight. Appreciate you. You already know what it is, big dog. I'm going to holler back. Peace. Peace. Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Was that not amazing? I'm just going to say, was that not amazing? I mean, I mean do y'all know what Josh is going to bring y'all on the 14th? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? How to get to the bread, how to keep the bread, and how to pass it to the next generation. How to get the bread, how to keep the bread, how to pass it to the next generation. Come on, somebody do that with me. Say how to get the bread. Uh. How to keep the bread, uh, how to pass it to the next generation. Ah, See, that's the job. That is the job. Man, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all on here, Credit Maven and Jay Rowe. And man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bracey, I see you. And Sean Williams, I see you. And all of, and Shepard, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate this. One in the building, I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see y'all. This means a lot to me. It is a dream of mine to not just have a lot of money. My dream is I don't really think money is real. I think people, people, energy is real. That's what's real. Money is fake. Let me just tell you, man, show love, show love. Do somebody the favor, show love. Hey, maybe you already registered for the conference, but maybe you, you know, your neighbor who, you know, they, you know, put them on, show them where it's at, text the link out, tell somebody. Because what we're doing here is giving you a million dollars worth of game for four ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what it is. We want to inspire people to grow and to serve in every way. Can you imagine what they're gonna think of you in one hundred and fifty years? Yeah, man, they're gonna be like, oh man, you know, my man walked like Disney, or man, a, a key for MBJ, a shorty so sweet. Like, oh yeah, that was shorty so sweet. That's my grandmama. That's my great, 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 great grandmama. Yeah, she wrote something in her will so that we all get to go to college for free. Oh my gosh. You know, just imagine what you can do. Just imagine what you can do if you put a little effort behind it. I encourage you, come on and grow with me. And then after you're done growing, come on and serve with me. Then after you're done serving, come on and grow some more with me. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get the bag. Keep the bag. Pass it to the next generation. Hey, man, I'm so glad you guys hung out with me. Tonight was amazing. Thank you so much to Josh Jones Law. Make sure you follow him. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to keep on growing and serving, man. I'm going to see you at the conference. August 14th is virtual. On your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad, wherever you're going to be live and in person. We're going to be doing giveaways, DJ in the building, all kinds of people sharing all kinds of knowledge with you. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. You do not want to miss this. I'm going to holler at you.